Hello everybody, welcome to Entrepreneurship, and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can create a beautiful professional business logo using Canva.com. Uh, of course, all the links for the tools will be in the description down below. But before we begin, I think it's important to determine what a good logo looks like, what are the characteristics of a good logo, and what are the different types of logos that you can create. So, um, logo designs have evolved a lot throughout the years, and if I were to personally simply define what a modern logo should look Look like it would probably be a simplistic logo that can be recognized from a distance which is why for this we tend to try to use a very minimal amount of colors big thick font and simple shapes also since we live in a world where everyone uses phones a good logo should be able to fit inside a circle and can be recognized on a small screen since most businesses have mobile apps that when downloaded on a phone are represented as a bubble so a good modern logo should be able to fit in inside that bubble. So what are the three types of modern logos? The first type is the font based logo, the second type is the symbol based logo and the third type is a mix of the two. Now of course in reality it's a little bit more complicated than that, there is a little bit more variation but in general most of the logos that you see will fall into one of those three categories. And in this video I will show you how you can create each one of those types for your business using Canva. So what are font based logos and what are some examples? So font based logos are are just logos that are created by just choosing a nice clear font and are then used to display the business name. Some examples of font based logos are Sony, Google, Dior and even Netflix. As you can see they have pretty much no distinguishable feature except their font. This is a really great way of creating a recognizable logo because all you need to do is find a font that you like and write your business name and you're done. So this is by far the easiest way of creating a logo as long as you follow some font guidelines that I will explain later later on in the video. The second type of logos are symbol based logos and these are just logos that are created using a symbol or an icon. Examples of symbol based logos would be Apple, Twitter, Nike or Pepsi. These types of logos are most of the time most difficult to create because they usually require a professional graphic designer to create but again in this video I will show you how you can create one from scratch using Canva. The third type of logo is basically a mix of the first two. A good example of that would be something like Burger King, Pringles or Starbucks, where they incorporate the name of their company inside the symbol or icon. Again, just like the previous type, this is pretty difficult to do if you're not a graphic designer, but in this video I will show you how you can do something similar on Canva. Now the question is, how do you create these three types of logos using Canva? Now as I said in a previous video when I taught you how to create YouTube thumbnails using Canva, Canva is an online tool that allows you to create any type of design work that you might need for a business. Um, you can create any types of YouTube channel art, YouTube thumbnails, presentation, uh, social media posts, uh, pretty much any type of design work that you might need. It is a must have tool for any type of entrepreneurs or any type of people who have an online business or plan to have an online business. Now in this video we're going to be using Canva to create three types of professional logos. A font based logo, a symbol based logo and a mix of the two. Now for this all you need to do is just go into the search field on Canva, type logo and you can see that for the name logo Canva gives you more than 36,000 templates which is absolutely insane. Again a lot of them are available with the free plan but most of the best ones are only available with the paid plan. But again as I said previously this is a fantastic tool that you must have. So for the font based logo all you want to do is maybe scroll down the list of templates and see any type of logos that you might like who has a font that you find interesting. Um, now if you don't find something that you like you can simply go on the left and use one of the filters that Canva has. For example you can filter through the style of logo that you want. If you want a minimalistic logo, a modern logo, an elegant logo, a feminine logo, luxurious logo, all of these filters can be used to quickly show a logo design that you might 
find interesting. You can even filter using themes for your business or your niche. Let's say that your business is in the health niche. By simply clicking on this box, Canva will filter out all the logos, all the templates to only show you the logos that are linked with the health niche. And just by using simple filters, you can find a logo that you might like for your business. Now for this example, what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna choose the professional filter, scroll down the list until I find something that I like or I find interesting. There's absolutely, there's a lot, there's a huge selection of templates and maybe, well, maybe I'm gonna use this one, the Fearless Females uh, logo. Just click on it and it will show you that logo, that template on a Canva. Now, as I said previously, on Canva, you can pretty much use and modify every element on the picture. So for example, if I wanna change the text of Fearless, this. All I have to do is double click it and just type the name that I want. So for example, instead of using the fearless females, we might want to choose something like, I don't know, the badass females. Oh, as you can see here, there's a little bit of an issue because this logo is separated into to part to create that little edge effect but you can, you can change it very easily uh, one trick that you can use is simply right click use copy right click again and delete and just change that text to the text that you want and and right click again and click paste and now since we haven't changed the position of the previous text they will basically align perfectly just like the previous examples and if we want for example to move these females element in front of the badass world all you have to do is just click on it and go to position and click forward so that this element is in front of the badass word. If you want, for example, to move uh, that the element, we can click on it and then move it closer to the main element. And there you go. We created a good, simple logo just by moving around and modifying the existing templates. Now, if you want to go a little bit further, if you want to apply the principle of the modern logo design, what you want to do is basically keep the main word and and delete all the non-essential element of the logo. In this case, it will be V and females. So we're just gonna select these and delete them. What we can do now is, for example, change the color of the, the font. So instead of having pink, I will probably use black and white. So what I'm gonna do is just copy it, delete, select the badass and select the color black. Then again, paste it here and change maybe the color paste it here and there you go you have a beautiful modern font based logo just by modifying the existing template what you can do now if you want to download the logo all you need to do is click on share button and click on download you can now choose the size of the logo that you want and you can also click the transparent background so you can use this on any any background that you want keep in mind that these options are only available for the pro plans on Canva, then click download. And there you go, we created the simple font based logo using a pre made template on Canva. Now, how do you create the second type of logo, which is the symbol based logo? Now, all you need to do for this is go into the search field and search by the first letter of your business. So, let's say that your business name is called, I don't know, Luxurious. So, Luxurious starts with an L. All you need to do is just type L logo and click on search and what it's going to give you a huge selection of logos with the first letter as a symbol i mean you can see now that you have a huge selection absolutely beautiful logos that are only using the first letter of the business name to create a logo and all you need to do is just select one to modify it to your liking for example i really like this one really modern really well done i'm going to click this one and we're simply gonna delete all of these and we are basically left with a pretty 
well, pretty good logo already. If we want to push it to the limit and uh, see what kind of logo this will look like in a uh, in a bubble, go to elements and we click on circle. That circle will then be put on top of the logo. We just go on position and click on backward. Now, what we're going to do is select the main element and choose the white color. And now we put it center so that they are perfectly centered. And there you go. Just like that, we created a symbol based logo for your business using Canva. Simple as that. You have now a modern type logo that you can use for your uh, mobile app or for your social medias. Now, how do you create the third type, which is basically a mix of the two? Now, for this, my advice would actually be to use that same type of symbol. So all you need to do is I'm going to take actually this symbol. We're going to just delete this circle. I think this symbol change back to the violet or the blue one. I think the blue one. And all you have to do is just choose a text that we like. For example, this one is actually really good. Let's say that our uh, business, what we called was luxurious. So I'm gonna, since we already have the first letter, I'm just gonna type the rest, which is luxurious. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so it fits in one line. I'm gonna decrease the size a little bit. And we're gonna put it right next to our symbol logo. We're then gonna change the color so that it matches the, the symbol colors. We see that it has like a special effect. So all you need to do is just go to effect and choose hollow. And we increase a little bit of the thickness so that it matches the logo. Just gonna decrease the size a little bit, put them together. And there you go. Just like that, we created the third type of logo using Canva and some very simple text fonts and symbols that is already present in Canva. Simple as that. And this logo can be used pretty much anywhere. You can use the first letter for your app inside a bubble, or you can use this entire logo uh, for your business page or for your website. All you need to do now is go to share, click on share, click on download, click on transparent background and download the logo. And there you go. We created and downloaded the third type of logo that you can use for your business. And just by using these simple techniques and simple templates, you can create any type of logos that you want using Canva for your business. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button. If you have any question, you can put them in the comments down below and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.